folks. This video is about my favorite topic, the goily men, the cowards, the cult group of Sea Shepherd with the cult leader, Captain Kangaroo, and the boy God Watson, the porous. I was thinking, why is it that this cult group enjoys a comfortable level of support from the people in Australia and the people of New Zealand. These are not stupid people. They are good people, the people in Australia and New Zealand, and yet they support this cult group by a vast majority as opposed to other nations. Well, the answer is quite simple. The movie which said, there was an old movie that once said, follow the money. So let's do that. Let's follow the money. Seems like in Australia, they have a whale watching industry. That's when people pay good money to board a vessel, go out into the ocean, and look at the whales and say, Golly! Shazam! Isn't that pretty to see those whales in their natural habitat? And they pay good money. Such good money that in 2008, the whale watching industry brought into Australia $172 million. I support Sea Shepherd too for $172 million. In New Zealand in 2005, it brought in $120 million. I would support Sea Shepherd too for $120 billion. I have links to the PDFs from both those countries in reference to that in the description. So now, is Sea Shepherd getting any of that money? I have no idea, but it's a good reason why the people and the populace will support Sea Shepherd's illegal activities on the high seas. Remember now, when Sea Shepherd goes into the Southern Ocean to illegally harass the Japanese whalers, they do so from the nation of Australia, the island of Tasmania, the city of Hobart. And in the past two whaling seasons, at its conclusion, when the rust bucket garbage gals belonging to Sea Shepherd put it to port in Hobart, Tasmania, Australia, the Australian Federal Police boarded the vessels looking for anything that might have been illegal. But yet they missed the spud guns. Yeah! Now we've seen the videos and photographs of Sea Shepherd using those spud guns after leaving Hobart, Tasmania, Australia. Spud guns are illegal in Australia. So we have Sea Shepherd with photographic and videographic evidence violating Australian law and nothing happens. Could that be because of the $172 million in the whale watching industry? So now Sea Shepherd goes after the bluefin tuna fishing in the Mediterranean. Now why would they do that? Follow the money. Australia has a huge network of bluefin tuna farms in Australia to where it's a $600 million industry. That's what it is, kids. So why should the Japanese, who consume most of those uh, tunas caught in the Mediterranean, get their bluefin tuna from the Mediterranean when Sea Shepherd tries to put a stop to it, when all they have to do, the Japanese, is buy the bluefin tuna from the Australians. See, follow the money. To which many of you are probably saying, we. <laughs> sea Shepherd goes into the Faroe Islands to disrupt those good people with their well harvesting. No, it's not because of Australia or Japan. It's because they need dramatic video for Discovery Channel's Animal Planet Whale Wars. This dramatic video thus raises the viewers on the program, thus raises the cost of advertising. Follow the money. You see folks, Sea Shepherd is no different than any other group. They exploit suckers around the world for money. And in this case, they're enjoying a level of support in the nation of Australia and in the nation of New Zealand because what do we do? Follow the money. That's what we do, kids. All right. <laughs> we'll see you. God bless you. God bless America. And God bless the nation you happen to be. <laughs>
See ya. Follow the money.